very good morning everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. Well this morning's match is another World Open Pairs game, it's Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett against Paul Foster MBE and Alex Marshall MBE. Let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today. Well at 2 o'clock we have Les Gillett and Jason Greaslade, they're taking on Greg Harlow and Nicky Brett. And then at round about 3.30 is the first of our semi-finals. Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney take on America's Dean Warmington and his partner Scott Edwards. The 7.30 game will see the winners of the first uh, quarterfinals number three and quarterfinals number four. Let's have a look at the quick officials then for today's game. The marker is Alan Thornhill and the umpire is Sue Mates. Well, let's get the show on the road and go live to the portable rink here at Potters Resorts and join our MC Jack Jenkins. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, the first of our Scottish pairs out today has a stunning total of 31 WBT titles between the two, including the Scottish Open, International Open, World Singles and Pairs Tramp Championship trophies. They are ranked number four and number 15 in the world. Please put your hands together for Paul Foster, MBE, and Alex Marshall, MBE. <laughs> Opponents this morning also from Scotland have numerous national and British Isles titles in their records, as well as being world pairs, mixed pairs and world singles champions. Please put your hands together for the world number two and world number 11, Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett. Thank you very much, Jack. Once again, everybody, very good morning. Welcome back to Potter's Resorts here in Hopton on Sea in Norfolk. Joining me in the commentary box this morning is uh, Neil Smith. Good morning, Neil. Morning, Jason. Uh, great to be here. Promises to be a fantastic game. Yep, certainly does. These two pairs have played each other just twice on the top, way back in 2013 2014. Alex and Marshall. And uh, Paul have won both of those. One was in the final of the 2013 World Pairs, the other in the quarter. 31 World Bowls tour titles between them. That's, That's incredible, uh, isn't it? <laughs> unbelievable. Darren and Stuart, obviously, they've won one title with them in the pairs. I was looking at the records earlier on and I see that um, the Italian Paul have won four times together but they also won it uh, individually with, with I think Hugh Duff and I uh, can't remember who uh, Stuart was with but uh, it certainly takes him doing doesn't it? Yep, yeah Hugh Duff was one of the, the youngest, I think he was the youngest winner, 22 years of age when Hugh won it back at Alexandra Palace, won it a few years later as well. Thanks for joining us today. You can't stay with us all day as usual. We'll keep you up to date live on our Facebook page and also worldbowlstour.tv. That's a pretty good start. One of these pairs will have to play twice today. First two games on this morning will then form the tie for the 7.30 match. Is that the first time that's happened with the schedule? It changes slightly, but that's yeah. how it normally is for pairs, yeah. yeah it's, um, I think the players will quite enjoy that, I would think. Yep. Having the second game. Paul Foster now, obviously back playing with his Henselite bowls. That was a decent start. Yeah, very good start. 
I was chatting to Scott last night and he was saying how uh, so the rink keeps changing over the weekend. A little bit less bend last night on the, with the bowls. Yeah, it's strange this year. It's uh, Obviously, we normally we lay it down just at the beginning of January and then it's normally super quick. And obviously, as, as it starts to just loosen up a little bit, it gets ever so slightly uh, heavier and a little bit flatter. But from what most players have said so far, it's changing quite a lot. It's changing from session to session this year. Yeah. And we don't know why that is. No. It's, it's laid exactly the same in the same way every year. Yeah, I think some of the players will be looking for swingier bowls before the single starts. Well, it depends on how many it is to what the shot is. Yep. Forehand through the pack, red bowls can force his own green bowl through to the jack. Yeah, it looks quite a nice target, doesn't it? You get a good result really off any of those bowls. Needs to bend a little bit. Likes his bowl has stayed on, so that's a pretty good spot. Yeah, you can hear Stuart saying their bowl will go out, so nice draw slightly just past the jack. Yeah, it's funny because sometimes you always feel you haven't got enough bowls, don't you? To, yep. <laughs> to, to do everything you want to do. <laughs> The thing is, it's your position as well, isn't it? When you're playing the likes of Alex Marshall, you have to, you know, expect him to get the shot. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm, it's not a great bowl, is he? He's just made it a little bit wider, giving Alex that angle back into the head. Yeah, I'm sort of quite pleased we've gone back to the two bowl pairs. It, although I think the three bowl pairs was better games, I think there's a, too much talking, too much del deliberating going on. Great effort. Oh, unlucky. Wow. Wow, very unlucky. Yeah, a bit of a bad result. You can see the bowl actually Absolute almost span back towards the jack yeah. there. Yeah, I see, I see, I couldn't see that coming. Set score. Yeah, I two think the, the two bowl pairs from a spectator point of view I think it's a little bit more interesting I think the two bowl pairs is definitely you know nine times out of ten the, the lead that plays most consistent will normally you know be the team that wins yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's you know so much easier to get your bowls near and then put the skip under pressure straight away exactly. you have less bowls to recover yeah. Jack length 27 and a half metres yeah I think we saw that last night didn't we with uh, Scott and Dean against Lee and Connor yeah, Dean played really well, didn't he? Lee yes. and Connor struggled a little bit. Uh, sorry, um, Lee struggled a little bit last night, and, uh, and Connor played pretty well himself, but couldn't quite do enough to recover it. Yeah, it's strange how you can things can just change from game to game. You know, the evening before, the lads were outstanding, weren't they? Incredible. Yeah, I watched That's that, that like game at home. Yep, it was, and, and and yeah, Lee should be proud of himself for, for playing the way he did on Saturday night. Well, fantastic start again. Yeah, brilliant start. So for people who don't realise that the rink they're playing on is such a difficult rink to play bowls on, it doesn't even feel like a bowling green, does it? It's it's difficult to explain, but um, there's some people that have, uh, have, have struggled on there and, and they've come off the green thinking they can't bowl. Yeah. But they're good players. It uh, really does take a lot of getting used to it. Stuart looks in good good form. Yeah, played well in the last game as well. Led pretty consistent. Yeah. Is Paul using Tigers? I didn't didn't quite get a chance to see what he was using. I think a lot I of the guys have been using Evos, haven't they? Yeah. Did you play Tigers in the last game? Yeah. guys never seem to age either they always look the same 
the rest of us are all aging. Yeah, Alex has been on his, his health health kick, been eating very well. Spoke yep. to him on a podcast not so long ago and yep. looking well for it. Very well, well yeah. yeah. It's quite noticeable, isn't it? Well, great effort here. Okay. Asking a few questions early on. Yeah, just arriving down the, the forehand to get to the bowls, just to the jack as well. Effort here. Great effort. Back bowl and sit will be yeah. very good. Oh, very unlucky. A good second there. Yeah, that hand seemed to be swinging a little bit more than the backhand last night's game. Uh, Scott played it quite well. Yep, it's uh, it's definitely the the hand. Well, in both directions, really. It's yeah. the hand that's just moving slightly more. One red. Yeah, I did notice on the on the two sort of flatter backhands, if you like. As soon as you try to pinch it, because you think, well, I can't go too wide, so you pinch it a little bit. You finish like two yards tight. Yes. And that's a bit embarrassing, but it's fine margins, isn't it? You know, you think. Uh, you don't want to hang out, so you, you try and bring it in that little bit, but, but uh, very often it just cuts across. Well, Alex's last ball will be Darren's target. <coughs> yeah, he's probably just trying to draw, I would think, and any little touch on the jack is a bonus, but great effort again. Oh, great effort. Very um, unlucky. It is. Oh, just the one, mate. Yeah, will Alex risk anything here knowing that he can't afford to lose his bowl? Well, I'll have a little look at this. There's obviously no shot clock in operation for the yeah. for the pairs. It's something pretty similar for Alex should he want to. He could just arrive down this backhand under the, the front red bowl. Yeah. Just sit off Darren's, could make a two. Stick to the forehand, turn it over. Yeah, I don't think he'll be playing too much weight, will he? Nope. It's just making sure he's up, I think. In the early days, you don't want to be sort of uh, giving too many shots away. Don't forget, we're back with the tomorrow start of the singles. First game on, 10 o'clock in the morning. Mervyn King takes on Scott Edwards. Some really interesting first round games in the singles this year. Very, very strong qualifiers as normal coming through. I think this year with the, with some of the qualifiers, there's, there's a lot of them that have been here before. Yep. Which I think makes it very interesting. Yeah, I think because I think sometimes you know, the, the qualifiers that come for the first time, like you say, you know, mm. the, the quality is, is never in doubt. Mm. You know, it's, it's how they come and adapt and then, you know, how they do they let the crowd get to them yeah. or not. Like I say, most of them this year. They've been here, seen it, done it. They so have. yeah, that could yeah, be. That's uh, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the likes of Pat Briscoe and David Bolt. Yeah, could make a difference. Yeah, it does make a difference. Yeah, well, he is just following Darren. Nice little squeeze if he can, just underneath, get to the jack. Right. Great effort. It's just over, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, shame. Pace was decent. One shot, Anderson Burnett. Yeah, I was really chuffed for Pat Briscoe. Uh, Pat put a lot of miles in, didn't he, to try and qualify. Yep, he certainly did. And that was Jeff when, when he finally three, did it. Zero, uh, so three. I really enjoyed the um, the way you did the qualifiers this year. <coughs> so, I mean, I haven't played for uh, three years, I think, in the qualifiers, but with you involved this year and the way you were doing it, I really liked the look of the way things were going. So uh, I played and uh, really enjoyed it. Yep. And uh, the fact that you can enter as many as you want is great. It's, it's really down to you, isn't it? Well, there's, there's, yeah, thank you very much. There's, there's ideas, you know, there's, uh, there's Martin Gale as well, you know, he's been you know, involved, you know, for a long, long time, you know, yeah, yes, heavily course. relied on Martin, and I, you know, can only thank him a lot for that, you know, he does so much work. Behind yeah, the a lot scenes. behind the scenes, yeah, oh, that's right. So much work, yeah, I believe it. But we are, you know, a big team effort and we, we all work together and we, you know, just try and make things happen, make change things. So sometimes you make changes and you think, oh dear, but it's yeah. been it's been well received. So you know, yeah, thank you very right. much. And it's uh, onwards and upwards, isn't it? It's the start of a, a you know, new new era, if you like. And uh, yeah, it's very good. Great effort. Just under. 
Got some support in the audience, Paul. Yeah. There, they were urging his ball on. Yeah, this is good though. This is what what it's uh, all about. I think the players appreciate that a bit of shouting and yep. cheering. Yeah, it's nice for them to get behind the the favourites. You probably noticed with the, the streaming you did of the, the Denny Cup match recently, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, it just goes to show that in, in bowls matches there's a lot of uh, enthusiasm, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, our Denny Cup game the other day was an amazing finish. And uh, so mm. games like that that can be streamed, I think it's good for the game, isn't it? Sure is. It's Paul reaching. Not quite. Nearly. Yeah, Stuart's 18 inches. One the, Chase Stewart's got the early advantage. Settles really well. Been some great games so far, hasn't there? In the pairs. Yeah, been some uh, some fantastic yeah. ones. So it's not easy to play well in two bowl pairs, is it? You no, no. And uh, you know, it's been uh, the tie break we had yesterday was absolutely superb. Oh god, amazing! Funny, we were driving up yesterday afternoon, and um, Mandy had it on the phone, <laughs> and uh, she was trying to describe it while I was driving as a nightmare. <laughs> we had to pull over and watch yeah. the end of it. <laughs> and that was brilliant. It's great for the game, isn't it? You get, you get games like that. I mean, Wayne was outstanding. Yeah, pretty decent pace. Yeah, yeah. Stay up two. Nice to see Darren back as well after a year away with injury. Yes. Yeah, I think no one likes to, to miss pause, do they? No. Nope. It's the one event of the year everyone looks forward to. It's funny because just being back this year, you know, watching Scott and okay. watching the other guys. Just, just gives you that little bit of a buzz, thinking, yeah, is, is there one more visit in me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something that uh, I'll suddenly go away and I'll be trying next year. Well, fantastic draw ball from Alex. It's that right in the, the centre of the rink. It doesn't look a lot on, does the? No. Not quite sure who's holding. Yep. Let me just make sure he gets behind in case Alex arrives down the forehand. It's a very good line. Yeah, just trying to get right around this green ball. Yeah, that, that probably suggests that Darren's still got one. Well, any nudge on his own ball? Yeah, just a bit high, I think. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. One shot, Foster and Marshall. Well, three one is the score. Set score, three one after three ends. Yeah, I think Alex and Paul will just be glad they on the board now and sort of settle down into that the game. Twenty five metres. I think say Stuart and Darren have definitely been the better pair first few ends. can change uh, the game yesterday morning between uh, James Rippey and Paul Maynard and Les and Jason's incredible how that game turned around yeah, uh, the, the, way, the way I saw it was Jason and, and Les did a number on Paul and <laughs> two, two old wily foxes doing everything they can slow the game down change of tactics more attacking and all of a sudden the game changes uh, yeah beauty of sex I guess you know the sets is a uh, it's one of them games, isn't it? You know, it yeah. doesn't matter how how many you lose the first set by. No, no, that's right. You just start again. It's, it's how you forget about the first set. Exactly. You, you know, I mean, for 14, what, 14 ends, there's probably only one winner of that game. 
Yes, it was only until yeah. the sixth end of the first yeah, set, uh, second right. set, yeah. I mean, it's an incredible turnaround, but that just goes to show that you can change matches during the game. Can't you? There's nothing worse than coming off the get off the rink thinking, oh, what could I have done different? You've got to do it while you're on there, yeah. while you're in the game, and that's exactly what Jason and Les did. Well, Stuart just needs to just navigate this green ball. He looks inside, just on the pace, just the pace keeping him. Yeah, finishing a good spot. Yeah, quality of the game is very good. But sort of what you come to expect, isn't it, for these four guys? Yes, yeah, so, you know, they've been on the, the circuit a long, long time. Yeah, that's right. Play at such a high level. Just a yard short. Great effort here from Darren. Well, and get back to his own or the jack. Oh, yeah, brilliant. brilliant. It's a fantastic one. Just last night, that hand was just sticking a little, wasn't it? And uh, there's a, quite a few bowls that didn't quite get back to the middle. Yep. Today, it just seems a little bit better. And again, it depends what bowls you're using, I suppose, doesn't it? As, and of course, your delivery is slightly different as well. So. Yeah, it, it, the delivery of someone does have an awful lot. Of, you know, how many times do people say, oh, these bowls, you know, I'm not so keen on these bowls, they don't bend. And then I'll say, just let me have a go with them, and then all of a sudden they, yeah. they start bending, I know. you know. I know. I don't think people realise sometimes that you can use the edge of the mat. You know, Corky talks a lot about it, doesn't he, in his yep. commentary, about using the edge of the mat to get a bit more bend, and yeah, you've got to be able to do that. Yeah. I think he did a masterclass once here, just you know, explaining to people yes. you know, how you can use the mat and the benefits of, yeah. of, you know, of knowing how to use the mat yeah, exactly. as well. Yeah, I, I do it quite a lot when I play. It doesn't always work, but I try it. <laughs> it's down the throat. Is it going to bend? to bend, I think. It just, yeah, oh, his backhand just kicks. Yeah. It's that same shot we've always talked about over the years, isn't it? That couple of yards of weight on here, which is so difficult. <coughs> Even the best players struggle to play that shot. Well, just a nice free forehand draw for Darren. See if we can just add a bonus one. In the tight the game, these pack. ones count, don't they? Up here. Up here. Not quite there, is he? Oh, not well, quite. Maybe. So it's just sat off it. <coughs> the camera angle's a little bit deceiving, aren't they? Yeah. Alan's normally very, very good at judging. Yeah, he's got a very good eye. Yeah, he has. He's got a very yeah. good eye. And all Three the, shots all and the players respect him, don't they? And they, they trust his judgment. Yep. We have some tremendous officials. Set score six one after four ends. Oh, good start for Darren and Stewart in this quarter final. Jack length twenty seven and a half meters. Anderson has been one of the most consistent players in the last few years. Just one point behind Nicky on the world rankings. That's number two, but there's only a point between them both. Yeah, that's nothing, is it? Nothing. Absolutely nope. nothing. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, Stuart that always seems to play well here, doesn't he? Yes. yes. It's funny because I can remember the... Um, I've talked about this a few times over the years. I remember the year that Greg played Stuart in the final. I don't know if you can remember it. Stuart was the best player of the fortnight. He yep. was drawing everything on a six-pence. He absolutely fantastic. And Greg just really roughed him up in the final. Attacking from bowl one, bowl two. And it's amazing how Greg sort of uh, determined the way the game the game turned out because of the attacking style. Yes, he's, he's, he's very good at that. Yeah. You know, he's, he's exceptional. So. Yeah. So, you know, when a player's playing really good, like you say, just attacking early, know, yeah. just giving yourself that chance. And, and it's weird because it does put the player off. There's no doubt about it. It can put you off. And, and yeah, and it was a brilliant performance from Greg to, to actually win it. One red. When you know, it just looked like odds on that Stuart was going to win. Yeah, I think sometimes in, in all types of uh, matches, some players don't do enough during the game to, to change the way things are going. You just accept it and, and before you know it, the game's finished and you've lost. You yeah, know. especially especially in sets play, you haven't got a lot of time to change anything. You know, twenty one up sometimes you've got an awful lot of time, yeah. but sets you've got to change something very quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not just the length, is it? It's your, your tactics, the way you think about the, the game. Beautiful line. Wow. Yeah, just a couple of feet short. Oh, Alex looking for good weight. Is he going to make the trip though? The line was absolutely yeah, spot on. Well spot on. Well, damn it, I want to get another one in here. There is a a choice here for Alex. The two bowls will actually, yeah. the two bowls will actually go should he wish right, to yeah. attack this. It's three thirds. Yeah, bowl onto bowl. Paul's just looking at it now. You can see yeah. he's. Uh, he spotted it. Yep. You say he, if he's slightly off target, he could force that plant through. Yeah. Could get rid of one. Yeah. And it looks like the green bowl is going to be coming into the head, doesn't it? Yep. It's, it's going to be rattling around off a couple of bowls and into the head. But like you say, the bowl onto bowl, there are two reds. Just missing the jack. Could probably go either side of the jack. Yeah. That's what he's playing. Again, it's it's uh, like we were saying earlier, isn't it? It's uh, not quite happening for them at the moment. Sometimes you've got to try and make things happen. Yeah, this, this, the shot is, as long as there's no jack movement, it gets both red bowls away. Yeah. There's you know, nearly a, a foot gap between them, so yeah. it's, it's never guaranteed. Got a hold. Might get one away. Oh, he's unlucky. Um, Not a great result. Unlucky. Yeah. Fortunately, he got his own as well, so it's going to yeah. be another two. Two shots, Anderson Burnett. Well, it was only a bowl tight, but it was enough, wasn't it? Yep. He'd have probably been preferred to have been a bowl Six wide four, rather eight, than that. One, At least he could have got the point through the head then and something may have happened. Still time in this set, but I think they'll be uh, just wanting to get, you know, get sort of settled maybe a little bit more and ready for that second set. They probably deep down they probably know this one's gone. Twenty-eight and a half meters. Quite like the black trousers and the black shorts this year. This looks good, really smart. Yeah, they've had some uh, good comments regarding the, the black. Yeah. yeah, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just a nice change and it freshens it up a little bit. It's strange you're looking at him like look I, I thought well I quite like the black it's strange I think with the, my personal choice I think with the, the red top I think the black suits it yep. and I think with the green top I think the white suits it yeah, even though you yeah. can wear black trousers yeah. with the green yeah. you know I actually think the white suits yeah. the green oh, great start for Paul. Yeah, he's got to start doing this like isn't he? yeah at the moment Stuart's definitely had the edge up front Peace, no. Here. Come on. Run. Well, Run, yeah. Makes the trip. Run, yeah. Probably get the shot. 
Well, there's a second. Okay, it gives Darren chances. Yeah, Paul will be looking to get another one in. Yeah, this hand definitely five. seems to <coughs> bend a little bit more this morning than it did last night. Well played. Yeah, it's probably Too the first, first time Darren's been under a little bit of pressure. Yep. Two good balls from Paul Foster. Yeah, went slightly further with the jack in this direction. The ball's reacting an awful lot better, like you said. playing with it, they call them the birds. Right. The little bird on them, Nicky likes yeah. the birds. That's right. I, I played with them one year. Yeah, I used to, <laughs> yeah, yeah Nicky likes the birds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nicky has about 60 sets when he turns up, he has an Arctic <laughs> truck outside. <laughs> just, <laughs> just in case he needs to swap them. Yeah. I remember one year in the past final, I think it was. Um, he actually used my bowls for the past <laughs> fight, and they lost, so he was a, I think he was a bit cheesed off having used my bowls. <laughs> well, I'll just get to the right jack here. and drag it. This will make it very difficult if he does. Oh, well, that's right. very good. Yeah. That's just enough for three. Yeah, it's quite an inviting target for Darren. Yes, it is. Right down the port. Yeah. Stuart's having a look at that plant. Yeah, plant looks good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, plant will probably get rid of two of them. Yeah. Could still get Jack clean if he gets through the gap. Yeah. Just concentrate on hitting the target. Yeah, exactly. Just rely on a little bit of fortune. Of course, this is you know, right up Darren Street, isn't it? He plays these shots really well. Yeah. Things have always said on the portable ring, you need to have this shot. If you're going to struggle to win matches if you haven't got this drive. Yes. Bend. Get the corner. Oh, yeah, big chance now for Alex. If he can float another one in. He may not be out of this set yet. Something similar to his last for Alex. The draw either side of that front green ball will be enough with good pace. Yes, that's right. He's just got to ignore it, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, he plays it, it's not there. Yes, if he touches it, he touches it, but good weight either side. He's a little bit quick, does he? Yeah, he's he's holding his hand now, which suggests he feels he's a bit quick. It's he's not bad though. Far, is he? Oh, yeah, he's, he knows. That's weird, isn't it? He's, he's what <laughs> eight inches overweight? And he knew it, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he'd done a less for a minute. <laughs> Had he got to that ball a little bit fuller, probably might have just stayed in. But yeah, he yeah. knew straight away that it was just yeah. three shots. Over. Foster and Marshall. It always cracks me up when when Les drops his head, pretending he thinks it's heavy and it's, it's a front toucher. <laughs> <laughs> Set score, eight, four after six ends. <coughs> well, that was a big three for Paul and Alex. Just four is the gap now, three ends still remaining. Yeah, they've got themselves back in the set, and, and even if they don't end up getting anything out of this set, that'll s certainly settle them down, won't it? Paul's dropped the jack short. He's going for a minimum length. Yeah, it's quite it's quite hard to when you keep the map back to play a, a jack just over the pin. It's because there's there's nothing you're aiming at, is there? Yeah, it's yeah. like you know roughly where the, the first spot is. Yeah. It's funny, I've, I've been leading a little bit more this year in um, pairs and triples playing with Scott and he likes to play that back short and I find it so difficult <laughs> to get into that jack to where he wants it. I, I don't mind Matt up to the tee. Yep. I find that quite easy, quite normal. But trying to get it, like you say, to that first spot, it's not easy. Me. 
run, run, run. Disappointed with that one. Having just scored the three, you'll be uh, looking to have got a couple of balls close to that. Give Stuart a chance now to tidy this up. How did the Zoom meeting go with the, um, the idea of? Um, the banking system, the way you see it. Yeah, we've been looking at different things at the moment. You know how to change things and yep. make it a bit easier and stuff like that. That's PBA rankings, of course. Yeah. You know. yep. It's a quite like, quite like the idea of. I don't know whether it's possible in future years when when we get maybe two or three, four events. Yeah, in, in the future, that having the one qualifier for all the events. It's a bit like the old tour card thing. Yeah, rather than having different qualifiers for each event, just have the one qualifier and, and that person gets in all the events. Yeah, it's um, always interesting to see like other sports, isn't it? How yeah. how things happen and change, and yeah. especially darts. Darts has been yeah. changed so much recently. It's funny I watched um, uh, some pool uh, a couple of weeks ago called Ultimate Pool. It's a new uh, new format by the looks of it, and one of their ex pros is the CEO Lee Kendall and. Uh, that looks a great format, new, new ideas, the, the way they play it. It's almost like they've copied yeah. the bowls, having two sets and then a, a tie break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> copy yeah, I know, it's, it's weird, but it worked really well. <laughs> and I'm thinking, great, you know, it's, and that was live on BT, so they've managed to get some TV coverage there. Well, side bowl is the target bowl. needs to run. Yeah, it's just not quite there, is it? Second, but not enough. One red. Yeah, Darren going to the forehand now. Nice draw, just tidy it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a nice little lead, isn't it? F five up with two to play. Yeah, if, so if he doesn't get this one. Set up. Yeah. One shot, Anderson Burnett. Set score 9-4 after seven ends. And of course, these four players are all in the Scotland's Commonwealth Games team. It just shows you what a strong team they have. I'm pleased for Stuart, he's uh, obviously first one for Stuart, I believe. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Yeah, certainly a very strong country when it comes to bowls. Yeah. Some excellent players. And I think that is the, the, the pinnacle, isn't it? Outdoor bowls. Yes. Is the Commonwealth Games. Obviously, in, in indoors, obviously this, this venue is just the Wembley of bowls, isn't it? Yeah, so and it's, um, fantastic everybody fantastic. strives to get here, but um, but outdoors, I think it's the team event that really stands out the most, isn't it? The Commonwealth Games. Up. 
Let's take a pulse report. Yep, two guns. It's a chance, isn't it? Yeah, made it least to three, really, don't they, realistically? Two's gettable, I think, on the last end. But yep. anything over that is against two class players, you're going to struggle. Yeah, it's, it's strange. We, we always say it's quite hard to get a three, but um, mm. yesterday was, there was five threes in the space of five ends. It was yeah. <laughs> really, it's a strange game, isn't yeah, it, sometimes? <laughs> Well, Darren, he'll be looking to get to the ball with the first one. It's pretty good. A little help off his own. Yeah, yeah. Right, still got a chance. Definitely second. One to green. He'll be looking just to draw this close and then have a look with his last, see what he can do to make a three or a four. It's a front ball, he has a chance of easing Darren's eye out. Yeah, he's playing with a decent bias ball, Darren, Taylor Ace. Be able to just get around that, shouldn't he? Yeah, easy around that Very with similar. good pace. But asking it just to hold out a little bit, just needs to get by the front, it has done. Nice and solid on the ball. Yeah, yes. two, well played, very good ball. They got the deepest bowl as well, which makes Alex's shot even harder now. Yep, well, that's a, a set lie for Darren and Stuart. This looks a backhand draw, maybe try and trail the jack six, eight inches, make two, maybe three. So not much else on. We can lift his own front bowl, I suppose, over to, onto the jack, but. That's a jack. difficult one, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah, it looks good. The jack's going to ping, isn't it? If, yep. if the front ball lifts onto the jack, it's not going to stay amongst the two greens. Yeah, the red the red ball, 30 inches past the jack, is in a very, very good yeah. place to exactly. stop that kind of a shot. He's gone for the Hail Mary. Yeah, <laughs> just try and create a, a result here. Well, Great effort. So he wasn't far away, was nope. he, from getting all the balls? One shot, first set. Wasn't Anderson too far Burnett. away, but it's going to be a single for Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett. And they're going to take this opening set, ten shots to four. <coughs> Don't forget, we'll be back with you at two o'clock. Jack length, 28 metres. One more quarter final for you, two o'clock, and we have the, the semi finals. Round about quarter to four, and then 7.30 this evening. And by the end of the day, we'll know the lineup for the Open Pairs final on Monday, the 17th. That's when the BBC join us. We'll be streaming as well all the games played here. They join us for the Pairs final as they always do. I'll take you through to see who's crowned world champion for this year. With some great coverage, we'll be on the red button as well. David Corkle will be with you with his team. That's a great start from Paul. He just needs to start beating Stuart to that first bowl, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they didn't play too bad in the first set, it's just that Stuart and Darren were brilliant, weren't they? Deserve to win the set. Oh, excellent ball. Oh, what oh, a fantastic. That's just been looking through it. Yeah, that's it. Not sure Paul likes this. Let's go on that line. Run. Still in the line. Just a fraction under me. Yeah, he just thought he was fraction under the line. Great pace. Yeah, pace went bad. Yeah. 
Darren and Stewart have played 18 matches together on the, the World Bowls tour in the pairs. Won 10, lost 8. Titles won is 1. 2016, wasn't it? Right. Yep. yep. Great effort from Darren. He's here again, isn't he? Oh, this is brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh. See that's just behind you. Yeah, just behind I think um, Alex and Paul are going to have to change tactics a little here. I think. <laughs> Try maybe just be a little bit more positive in this set. Try and make things happen. Well, this is all on pace. The line is very, very good. Just needs to come back now. Great oh. try. <laughs> well played. Outstanding. One great. lift on the forehand, didn't he? If he wants it, Darren, he could play down the forehand, lift his yep. red bowl over. Yeah, gets half of his own onto the green. Yeah, could play down the backhand and just crack an egg on that shot bowl. Just release the jack that way as well. Whichever handy favours best. Most players normally have a favourite hand, don't they? They do, yeah. Yeah, it's very notable, I think, especially in two bowl pairs as well. When yep. you, you, You've only got two shots, so you, you have to... You don't want to waste any ball, do you? Yeah, he's just looking at if the jack springs a foot or 18 inches. But, uh, the only problem is the further he springs it, the more room Alex will have with his last. <coughs> yeah, so that's, that's the only problem with the backhand. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to spring it too far. I, I like to say the forehand shot. He could actually get a result even lifting the green ball, can't he, onto the shot? Yeah. On the forehand. So, uh, well, he's playing just at the backhand then, so he'll be looking just to... Just arrive on Alex's bowl, just to release the jack six or seven inches. Buddy. Buddy. Great effort. Well, he had the perfect Indeed. pace for that, yeah, didn't his he? his pace was lovely. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Another very good end. a lot of room for Alex to add another. He'll be very careful. Trying to float one through this gap I, on the forehand. Yeah, he won't be overly no. concerned about not making that one. No, one right. shot, Foster and Marshall. Main thing is getting the jack. He's going to try again maybe. Float it past the pin. Yeah. Set score. Zero one after one end. I think it's with, with Paul and Alex that they've seen all this before, haven't they? Oh, Hundreds yeah. of times. And I'll never forget that Commonwealth Games semi final. We played them two bowls. Oh, those <laughs> got to be the two greatest bowls. <laughs> I mean, felt for Sam and, and Andy, but uh, two greatest bowls I've ever seen. On, on a hand, it just started raining. I think someone in the crowd minutes. had just given him abuse. <laughs> he, he played the hand that they hadn't played all game, and he drew two absolute views, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. That's Alex for you. Yeah. So you the the response was brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how they've gone to the, the slightly easier way of getting the 23 metres, like you were saying before. And yeah. You know, he's kept the map back, just playing just slightly over. Yeah, that's right. It's, I think you... Um, you get a better feel for the distance, don't you? Yeah, yeah when you can see the edge of the green and, and you, you know where the T is. Great start from Paul. Sometimes that's all it takes, isn't it? A little change of length to change the momentum of a game. Yeah. that didn't bend as much he's left a nice gap so I think he was quite pleased with the finish of that 
That's the first loose end Stuart's hat. Yeah, you can just see Paul saying down the backhand, just slip past, make another. Yeah. Play two shots with one ball, can't you? Here you can cover the red and just still sit, sitting for another shot. Yeah, definitely. And I think sometimes you can be guilty of building heads too big, can't you? And yeah. You know, the, the position that's in at the moment is very good for them. You certainly don't want to make any wider. One thing I thought Scott did really well last night, he's managed the game really well when they had that little lead, you know, settling for like the back toucher or front toucher Dean would have on and, and not building the head up. And in yeah. two ball pairs, that's a great, great way of playing the game. You don't need threes and fours, ones and twos are good. Oh, Darren. Good effort. Pull up and get it nice and solid. Squeeze. Oh. Oh, yeah, lucky. You might just be out. I think it's just trying to pass that. Or you might draw there. Yeah, I know. Sitting pretty good as it is. Yeah, the two two wide bowls, the green bowls have got the reese spot, so <coughs> Darren hasn't got much of a shot down the forehand, has he? Yeah, I'll just draw, I think. I think the second. backhand draw, and if he just feathered the jack sideways towards the red, then great. But there's nothing really down the forehand, so Alex could draw another hit. Possible. So he's trying to slip your last, even to here. Or I'll play, play, play that, I'm happy to play that. I, I don't mind. You can actually draw a shot. Sliding there as well. <coughs> it's fine. Yeah, I think Alice just didn't want to make it too big. I think that was the. Yeah. Yeah, the I debate agree. there, don't make it any bigger, go for the cover and just say, well, you go ahead and play it. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder whether, whether Darren thinks he can actually get a result through the jack and maybe even disturbing the two green balls as well. Yeah, Stuart's looking at that, he's wondering whether he can actually get it into the corner of the ring rather than off the ring. Good at uh, manufacturing these sort of shots. Yes, he is. Oh, one gone. Yeah, it looks like only one. The one shot. Yeah. One shot, Foster and Marshall. Yeah, a percentage shot, I suppose, just to get rid of one. Never quite sure where the Six jack's going to end up. We Zero two. You can work Happy it out all you like, but sometimes it doesn't doesn't go exactly where you think. <laughs> I've brought the mat right up again. Yeah, he's right on the mark, Backhand isn't he? 23 metres. Gives himself sort of three metres <coughs> to get the jack into, which is for a man of Paul's class, that's no problem at all. Yeah, it's a, it's a long space that, isn't it? Three metres. Yes, it is. It's... um. That extra metre, it does make a, a nice difference for when you're delivering the jack. There's only been two singles, but Paul and Alex will be delighted the way the second set started. Yep. Yeah, you can just see they're feeding their way into the game nicely now. I'll say they've been there and done it and got the t-shirt haven't they? Oh, wow. <laughs> Quite a few of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
got their own store. I think. Yeah, I think it's as well. I think having the trust in each other, that they just know each other's game so well, don't they? There's, there's never any panicking. You know, they've lost the first set. Doesn't matter. They just crack on with the second, and they know it'll come good. Well, line's good again. You just sleep, sneak past. Oh, that's a great effort. Unlucky with two good balls anyway. We might go for these, yeah. Yeah, Darren's called it. Yeah, sat together, down the backhand, get the balls or go with the jack. Very close. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Respot for the jack, see it just disappearing into the side ditch. Yeah, that's a very good hit from Stuart. I'd say most of the top 16 players have got that shot, haven't they? I think. Yeah. You know, they're, they're all very good at it. Well, both parents have, you know, a skip and a lead, don't they? They both skip and a yes, lead. Yes, of course at the same they do. Time, yeah. So. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, world class players can play anywhere, can't they? People think leads are. Not supposed to strike, don't yeah, they? But that's all part of the game, it's all part of the tactic. Is, yeah. Yeah. Alex goes first, this two balls. Good start it. With a map right up, listen. No issue about getting to this respot. Slightly overplayed. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not probably going to be bend as much as you think, is it? I don't think. Matt right up. It's a bit of an odd, odd line, isn't it? Yeah, I'm surprised at the pace of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just caught Darren out there. So obviously Alex is going to draw another, but I wonder whether he's thinking, do I need to make sure I'm just past? Well, he won't want to put them together, yeah. will he? That's why they're just having a look, which is the yeah, next that's shot. Right. So a couple of feet past isn't a bad bowl, is it? A scoring and... Yeah, so he's made sure he's nowhere near his other one. That's him for two. It just stops sort of Darren been getting creative doesn't it? It, it he's just got to draw this now <coughs> whereas before like you say if he'd put the two together Darren might have been tempted yep he's quite a flamboyant player sometimes you, yeah, you never yeah. really know what he's no it's right and him player. and Jason very similar aren't they yes and and that's good for the game I think, I think it's a you know, it doesn't always work doesn't always come off but yeah you know, the different styles is what's needed you can't all be the same let's get second one shot, Foster and Marshall. Well, three ends on the bounce now for Paul and Alex. This tactic of bringing this mat right up is working. Paul's getting some good lead bowls on as well. That also helps. Yeah, he's definitely on the edge, isn't he, the second set? Yeah. Set score, 3-0 after three ends. Jack length, 23 metres. Yep. Again, almost on the spot. Also standing on the outside of the mat, you could see there, just yep. trying to get the, the maximum bend off this. Yeah, exactly what we were talking about earlier, wasn't it? And, uh, Stop it. It's, uh, Stop. Oh, just see at the end there, standing oh, on the yeah. outside of the mat, just allows the ball right yeah. at the end just to come. Exactly. So a lot of people don't realise how important that can be. Yeah, they just try and play a different line, don't they? Yeah. You stood in the you stood on the inside yeah, so exactly. of the mat and you just keep just keep finishing wide. Just try and move into the outside of the mat, playing a similar line. Yeah. The ball will bend slightly more for you. Finishing a good spot. Yeah, 
That's a great spot. Well, Second. Yeah, it's been a high quality Hungry. game, isn't it? Yep. All yep. four players playing some very good stuff. Far off. Well, it just kind of closes the angle a little bit for yeah, Darren does. arriving down this backhand. He had, you know, just a, an arriving shot trying to crunch the jack in a way. Yeah. Now he'll have to play either dead pace to get round it or could swap to the forehand yeah. and look at promoting his own ball onto the shot. He probably needs to try something with this one if he's going to do it. <laughs> Sticking to the draw. Yep. Dead pace needed. The line is there, is it? Always fall back on the jack, Neil. The jack course, moves a long yeah. way, doesn't it? It does, yeah, especially with the seam there as well. They might just sort of run along the seam. this. I don't think they can guarantee getting shot can they on the forearm. I mean bowl could go on to jack, not bowl onto bowl. It's, it's difficult to get it exactly right. I don't think they could lose more than one though could they, if the, if the, even if the jack went sideways? I think it'd be very unfortunate. Yeah. If he plays the ball onto the jack, it just depends. If it comes through the port, he's all right. It could yeah. rattle around. Yeah. And it could go anywhere. It's like he's going to have a, have a little go at this. Yeah, he's going to try and just force it through. And he's got the front ball. Oh, oh. bounced at the ring. What a result. <laughs> it, was, it was a good strike, but Which of that green ball stayed in. <laughs> One shot, Aston yeah, Burnett. It was. Wow. That was, it's a good hit. It was a good hit. Yeah, I did say that the jack could three. rattle around. Yeah, I didn't think it would go yeah, forwards, right. but yeah, good hit. Looks like we were saying earlier, you can't always predict where it's going to finish, but nope. uh, all you can do is hit the target, and he did that. That was a fortunate result, but it's part of the game. Back to a longer length. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Be interesting to see if Stuart can drop back on it like he was in the first set. I mean, having had, what, three or four ends of the short jack, sometimes you don't always drop back on your length, do you? Yeah. Just slightly short of a full length. Those three or four shorter ends could have could have just changed the, the way this game's going. Uh, good start from Paul. Uh, very good start. Not quite there. 
no, just slightly short of the length. So another chance for Paul. Yeah, so rolls reverse, isn't it, from the first set? Yeah. That's what Paul was doing with Stuart on, just okay. dropping that little bit short. Come on, you're close here. Again. All the way up. Yeah, we'll play Paul. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> the game's just turned. Yeah. Yeah. Two green. Those bowls that Paul has been using, they must have been in the pool for 15 years. <laughs> one of the original sets. Yeah, I think they are. It's just the one I'm thinking of, yeah. yeah. Darren going early. He was looking at forcing his own ball straight through onto the split. Yep. Yeah, we've had a, a few drives just slightly wide today, haven't we? Not quite got the radar right. Yeah, it does look a good shot, doesn't it? To get his own ball solid. Yeah, plumb in the face. Yeah. Might not be so keen to play it now, but I suppose damage limitation. Yeah, we'll go again. Yeah, I think so. It's three green. It's no bat balls. He's just hoped to get a couple off the rink, maybe. I think. I think the trouble now is the jack. The jack's going slightly to the right, isn't it? Yep. I don't think you can get rid of two balls without the jack. Mind you, sat just slightly away from the jack. You never know the way it's leaning. It's three down anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's it's difficult to draw a second shot. So drive again. Better. He's a solid contact. Oh, oh, lucky. Oh. And lucky. That's always a possibility there. Yep, slightly off target. Removes his own bowl, so Alex will probably just add another. Foster and Marshall. Bad touch to nearly. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so this game's turned on its head. Set score one seven after five ends. Well, a bit like the first set, a bit of a runaway set going on now, but this time it's for Paul and Alex. Just what the crowd wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Jack length twenty three meters. The crowd do like a good tie break. Yeah. Makes it interesting. Seven one though. I think it's one of the best things that's ever been brought into to the professional game. The um you can think back to twenty years ago when it used to be best of what, f what three sets, best of five sets. And then there's nine, I remember yeah. Guild Hall best of nine yeah, sets. I can remember yeah. that. And that afternoon and evening session was like the snooker, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can remember that best Yeah, of I remember sets. I remember I remember watching it as a kid at the Guild Hall, yeah. and he went on the yeah, nine sets, and he got to about half past ten, and they all dashed off for the last bus. <laughs> the <laughs> Sorry, you're taking too long. My last bus is going. I'm off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the game was still going on. Fantastic venue as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, I went there to watch the snooker once. Um, I saw Alex Higgins there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Giving your age away now. Yeah, I, yeah, I was a big Alex Higgins fan. That's. Uh, UK Championship. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it, long long term, if we can get back to those days of having sort of three, four events. You know, that's the target now, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's like any sport at the moment, isn't it? You know, it's getting sponsorships and course, things yeah. with, the, with this awful COVID. A lot of businesses, you know, quite rightly so, just trying to protect their own assets, aren't they? You know, yeah. hopefully we'll be out of it pretty soon. It's nice to have some of the overseas countries back with us. Not as many as we would have liked, right. but you know, um, early early kind of December wasn't even looking possible. But it's nice to have is you know the, we have the, the the lads from Hong Kong, yeah, and cracking lads as well, aren't they? Yeah, they played really well Ken, too, didn't they? Cracking lads, played you know, really well. Canada with us, and obviously America. 
spent quite a bit of time, you know, chatting with them and yeah. welcoming them back, and it's great to see. And the crowd really, really like it as well, don't they? Of course they, they do, yeah. And they, they, use, they like seeing the new faces, don't they? Yeah. So it's good for the game as well. You you know, you need the Aussies and the New Zealanders here, don't you? And the yes. South Africans. Well, Alex attacking these. Nice solid on Very the jack close. if you can. Two bowls, nearly. It's a pretty good result. One away and back bowl as well. In. <laughs> didn't look like it was going to but it nearly has look, the belly looks just slightly further yeah. towards slightly the jack doesn't it but you never know yeah I thought you were talking about Alex then for a minute no he's, he's slim line now <laughs> what I did find interesting though like he's, he's done this before you know he's, he went on this this health regime oh, yeah. before but he was saying um, he lost it a lot quicker but what he said was you know sometimes you think well that's great you know lose, lose weight quicker but yeah. he said um, it actually affected his delivery in a way, oh, which okay. I found was quite interesting coming from someone like Alex. You yeah. know, thinking, well, oh, okay. And so what he's done this time is he's done it an awful lot slower, oh, and I, I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, right, you know, it does. Yeah, um, his delivery looks okay. It just just looks the same, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, he's got a result. Got a blouse up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's what he was after, but it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Loads of room though for Darren. Yeah. I think he's going to draw the shot here. Just to put the anchor out Ooh, quick. It's got to start. It's got to start. Yeah, oh. falls back into shot. Well, One shot, Hanson Burnett. Just about keeps them in the set. Yep. So stranger things left. have happened. You, you just never know with this game, do you? <laughs> Set score 2 7 after six ends. Suited Stuart and Darren in the first set, didn't it? Good start. Certainly did. Good start. Really good. Yeah, you probably feel that Stuart and Darren need to win all three ends. They're going to get the five shots that they need. Jack's good for Darren. Yep, definitely. Like you're saying, we'll probably need more than singles. Just try and turn this Jack, get yeah, to the green cool. bowl as well is good. I always think sometimes you need to draw this and hope you're six inches heavy rather than looking to trail it. I think when you start looking to trail it, that's when it all goes wrong. You end yep. up playing too much weight. Yeah, you push through it, don't you? Yeah, that's right. And then you're missing the line. So I think you're trying to draw the shot and hope you're just a fraction up 
always missed the line. That's what I was saying oh, earlier yeah. about you missed the line by a fraction and you're two yards tight. <laughs> so easily done, isn't it? His weight wasn't bad. Finishing very well. Yeah, he could not have placed that better, could he? Could he just put, walk down the green and put it there? <laughs> that would be the spot he would put it. It is. Well, he's a shot. That's just a dead draw. You just play the same kind of ball, look for it, falls in on the way. Are you getting two of them? Three down. Eh? No, three down. Three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not. What Dan yeah, wanted to hear, is it? Just do that sell a shot. Spring it out. Yeah, see, <coughs> see what Stuart's saying there. If he... I have to play there. I've got to go quicker. Okay. Oh, he's going to go quicker. Could, you could go get it white and then run some red balls through it anyway. Yeah, he's going to have different options there, aren't you? There is, yeah. Yeah, he's trusting to look a little bit, but, you know, he just played this shot well. Jack Lee. Oh, yeah. Pushed his own through, but lots of room there for us. Didn't move far that other red bowl. Like Stuart said, you could push it through. So yeah. The jacks go. I think the jack stayed in, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Alex has got a lot of room to yeah. basically finish the set off here, isn't it? Six up with two to play if he draws this. Actually, two. The the good thing here is Alex hasn't got to get too close to the edge of the ditch, has he? Yeah, he can exactly. He can find centre ink, can't he? All he needs to play centre ink, yard that's past. Right. Yeah, yard past the tee, four feet past the tee. That's all you're looking yeah. for, isn't it? A little quick nose at the score. Off it goes. Looks good enough to me. His line's good, is it? Hoping he's got the pace. He's not beating it by much. My goodness. Wow. Line was good. My goodness. <laughs> Ouch. It's not not sharp. Still one to down, I think. One shot, Anderson Burnett. Yes, it was. Wow. <laughs> don't see that very often. Set score. No, you don't. Three, seven, after seven ends. I wonder whether, in his mind, Alex was just thinking, just beat the bowl, and, and of course he's got the bowl in his, in his focus then, instead of the area beyond it. Yeah. Um, you know. Well, four. Four with two ends. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Uh, better than six. <laughs> yeah. So they made it a bit, more, a bit more interesting than Alex wanted, anyway. Start from Stuart again. Enjoy doing the outdoor uh, couple of days at uh, Levington? Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. Um, again, another Great new addition to the sport, was yeah. it? You know, what was being offered. It's good that to uh, see the different authorities you know still actively looking at adding things and yeah. changing things and working together as well which is good obviously yeah. they know you're part of the indoor setup so it's good that they're happy to talk to you and i think it needs to happen in bowls doesn't it it does talk. Oh, big time we all strive for the same goal in the end of the day yeah, of course we are the, we? the more no bowls on streaming or tv the better isn't it yeah exactly yeah the goal is definitely the same it's just He's just raising the profile of this sport. Yep. It's a hard, hard sport to, to raise, I think, because it has the, that stigma, doesn't it? it? It has, and it's difficult to get away from that, isn't it? I think the, 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 obviously the girls' final and Wayne's final were amazing finishes, and that certainly went a long way to, to helping that, didn't it? 
Well, the, right. the weather was amazing too, wasn't it? Yes, <laughs> lucky it, we cracking were, the flags. How yeah. lucky we were with that. It could have been actually you know, hammering down. But uh, two, a couple of amazing days, really. Well, one red. Darren definitely be looking to add with his first. Yeah, I think if they can get a two here, they'll be pretty confident. I think going into the last den, they can still get another two. Even if it's this back green bowl, Neil, it'll be enough. It's a great effort here. Doesn't want the jab. No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't want to sit back on his own. Yeah, that's very there. good. Yeah. Well, that's fifty percent of what he needs. Yeah. Well, it's just looking to do exactly the same. Same bowl as Darren's just bowled. Line's good. Yeah, they're making the trip. It's won this. Just needs to make the trip. Sit his own down or help. Well. Of course, at the moment, Alex is probably thinking, why didn't I draw that shot on the last end? And you don't want that going through your mind at the moment. No, just put it away, don't you? Put You've it away got to get try. About it. Yeah, you have to try and do that. It's difficult to do sometimes, but you. It's like when you bogey, you're holding golf, isn't it? You know, the professionals have got a way of putting that out of their mind, going into the next hole. It doesn't matter how much you worry about it, you can't change it, yeah, can you? So <laughs> just forget about it. Yeah, exactly. I wonder whether you'll be looking to hit that front plant. Yeah, there's a couple of options, isn't there? Yeah. The hit the green one hard enough, you could shuffle a few red balls away. Yeah. It looks the, um, the percentage shot, doesn't it? You could probably hit anything there, yeah, and get and get a result. Or and drive. They only need to score one, don't they? If Ali can pull yeah. scores one, so that's uh, that'd be the set. Yeah. I mean, they'd probably even be happy with one down, wouldn't they? They wouldn't. You know. I'm just wondering whether we'll just try something very similar just increase the pace maybe 18 inches yep no, he, they were looking at that angle so it wouldn't surprise me if he drives at this you know i think he's going yeah uh, looking to get down to Very the plant close. down no. oh, still two that doesn't change anything still two Two shots, oh. Anderson Burnett. Suddenly made it very interesting. Yep, it certainly has. From a 7 1 lead, three ends later, 7 five, 5. After eight ends. Oh, going into the last end of this second set, Stuart and Darren need to score a 2 to secure this game. Anything less, we'll go into a tie break. Yeah, I think the game's deserved a tie break, I think. Alex and Paul have had the edge in this set. And a half meters. That's a great start from Stuart. Yep, that's an absolute perfect start for what we want. The pressure's building now. Need a couple of good balls from Paul. I think this just goes to show how important the leads are in two bowl pairs, doesn't it? You know, Paul has to bowl a good end here. Doesn't want to leave it to Alex, and he has done as well. Brilliant yep. reply. That's what he needs to do, wasn't it? Just get yeah. a good second in and just stop them getting this two. Yeah. They won't be bothered about losing the one. Exactly. Yeah, if Paul, if Paul misses there and Stuart bangs another one in, then all of a sudden Alex could be going back to the map with, with a difficult shot or no shot. And it's uh, massive for Paul to get close, and he has done. You still playing a lot indoors, Jason? I don't play. You're not playing at all? No. Well, I, I tell a lie. I um, 
Oh, oh well, Gaypo, what a ball oh. that is. Oh, that's brilliant. It just sits even better. Yeah, that's good. A little bit unlucky, I think. It gives maybe Darren a slightly more chance to make a two, just shoving it to the side. He's very yeah, unlucky. Just to, just to flop off that last ball. One red. But, uh, but he'll be happy with that. Yeah, indoors, I just, um, I just played in the... Um, PBA qualifiers. Yep. I think uh, I'm in the same situation as Mark Dawes. Really, we know we're from uh, course, Manchester. Yeah. We don't have a club, <laughs> so we difficult. we travel. You know, my um, Mark travels. I think two and a half hours each way, which yeah, is spoiling, madness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I played a couple of years at, at York, which was an hour and a half each way. Yeah. And it's hard when you work. You know, dashing yeah. from work and yeah. get there, and then you got to dash back and get up at three o'clock in the morning, yeah. like I do for work. And yeah. it's yeah, I just lost the interest to be honest yeah, with you. Don't blame hell of a try. Oh, it's just over the pace. What a great effort. Well, that was perfect, wasn't it? Don't get much nearer than that. Yeah, footless, and that would have been bending into the green ball. Alex will be happy just to split the two red balls, I'd have thought. It's not bad. What a line this is. What a well, line. Oh, just it's just not quite there. reaching. Oh, hasn't really helped, has it? We're still room for yeah, Darren. Yeah, just slightly narrows the angle, but maybe the similar kind of bowl for Darren. Just get down to the jack and maybe a slight edge off the green. Yeah, so I think a foot less and the, the line he had will be perfect. Bit of a free go really, isn't it, knowing you've got the tie break? Watching it. Well, he's stalking it. Stuart's interested. He needs to run, I think. Oh, has he got the pace? Oh, what an effort! Run. What an effort! Oh, he goes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just six inches or so. Wow. Shot, Bernard Anderson. Second set. Oh, the line Master was Marshall. Perfect. Match tiebreak. Well, one shot isn't going to be enough, so it's going to be Alex and Paul take this second set. It Seven is. shots to six. Well, into a match tiebreak we go. Those of you. Pretty new to the World Bowls talk. First end tie break, Paul won the toss and has given the jack to Stuart. Slightly different rules. The first team to win two of the three ends of the tie break. It doesn't matter how many how many uh, shots you score, it's just ends one. Paul and Alex have won the toss. They have elected to give the jack to Stuart and Darren. They say, well, we prefer to have the last bowl. Darren and Stuart will obviously have the choice on the next end. It's quite interesting that, isn't it? The the better players or the top players always seem to one last bowl, don't they? Length, 26 yeah, metres. There's, there's always the, the difference. Like this, in a way, this game has been a battle of two different lengths has, early yeah. on. It However, has. like you say, when you're playing the likes of, you know, Darren and Stewart, <laughs> I don't think that really comes into it really much. You know, yeah. like you say, it's that last bowl. Yeah. I think it's almost as well stopping them having the last bowl, isn't it? Yes. As much because as you, you have in the last ball, you don't want them to have the last ball. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think yeah. what goes on sometimes is if that last ball is a fluke, let's just say, you, you have no reply. Yes. Yeah, you're you know, right. That, that's the issue. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, at least it's in your own hands, isn't it? A decent start from Stuart. Good enough for sure. Yep. <coughs> the uh, Jamie Walker and Ian Honor are watching on. Both got singles. A couple of days' time. Yeah. Well, Jamie was outstanding at our tournament in early, early December. He was absolutely brilliant. Oh, well played, Stuart. What a bowl this is. What a reply. It's finished nice as well, hasn't yeah. it? Just fell over, tucked in just behind. Yeah. Paul's bowl there's just covering. Just wondering whether Alex may just get Paul to reach this and just try and disturb something or open something up for him. Yeah, and like you say, in the, t in the uh, tie break situation, you, you do tend to get players playing a little bit more positive. <laughs> Yeah, 
think the, the Jamie Walker, Jamie Chesney first round tie looks a mouth watering game, doesn't it? That that's the uh, that's the tie pick, the I round, think, yeah. isn't it? There's a lot of people talking about that yeah, game. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, I don't know how many times Jamie's tried to qualify before Jamie Walker, maybe only once or twice, but it's great to see him on the carpet. Oh well, yeah, Paul's going big. Gotta hang on. Could get the red ball through the head. Oh, made it a little bit better. I thought he was going to force that onto the jack then. It looked like it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, Alex can see that ball now, so that's a better result than missing yeah, it completely. Yeah, exactly. He's got something moving, which is good. Darren will be looking for a closer second. Maybe you won't want to get the two bowls together. A bit like earlier on, wasn't it, when we were taking, sometimes you want the bowls separated. Yes. The second shot maybe 18 inches away, but you don't want the two together. Than that. Quite sure what he's I think it's the there. important thing is it's, it's second. Yeah. I think that's the important it thing. It is. And it forces Alex to either dead draw it or play with that difficult weight, doesn't it? Yep. I think Alex will probably try and dead draw this with his first and then, then have a look with his second. If he can get a really good second, he'll go for it then with his with his last. <coughs> now he's going big already. He's not holding back. Second the ditch is good. Oh, it's just under. Went far off, was he? No, not at all. Yeah, you're well. Alex has got the ability to, to go flat out with one bowl and draw a front touch with his next, doesn't he? <laughs> and that's such a difficult shot to do, difficult thing to do. There's not many players that can do it. No, I'm going to say he's one of the one of the best, isn't he? Yeah. That that big pressure ball when it's needed. Yeah. We've seen it time and time again over yeah. the years. Yeah, because very often when you when you're driven with your first, you're, you're heavy. When you're trying to draw your second, it's not easy to hold back, is it? And draw the perfect ball. One of the best players I've ever seen do that is Andy Walters. Andy, uh, yeah, great player. You know, hits 100 mile an hour and hits nine out of ten, and then he can draw. Front toucher for this next. Yeah, I guess like you say, it's different. Like some people, there's, there's a drive and then there's a drive, isn't there? Yeah. And, and Andy, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> he right. certainly drives. Yeah. The whole green clears out the way. <laughs> yeah. I, I played him in Middleton Cup once, and uh, and he, I think he moved every bowl on the rink. <laughs> shot now so I don't think you, you can rely on following through <coughs> into the ditch with the jack yeah jack and roll it's, it's gonna go off the rink probably isn't it and that leaves the, the dead draw or the arriving shot the difficult arriving shot yeah you could play that yard or two up couldn't you land on it solid and try yeah. and stay stop yeah that is very difficult it is difficult but always got the draw the front toucher Bit like the bowl Wayne bowled yesterday. Bowl Wayne bowled one of those, didn't he? <laughs> to, when he yeah. had to against uh, against Nicky. And again, for those of you just on the Facebook, the links that just keep popping up regarding trying to direct you to a, a, another World Bowls Tour sites, please don't click them. We'll never ask you for your credit card details. I've just blocked 
Plot the current ones. Don't get sucked in, thank you. Always free here at the World Bowls Talk. Even the drinks? Yep, well, it is, yeah. <laughs> Scammers at the moment. Yeah, that's right. right. Well, big bowl for Alex. Playing the very difficult bowl. Well. He's having a look. Well. He's having a look. Here. Surely. <laughs> oh, wow. Always. What an effort. Yeah, that is a very good effort. It'll be uh, Stuart and Darren take this first tie break. First end, end Anderson Burnett. No. Yep, they've given it away as well. Yeah, I think 90% of the players will, will give it away for this level. <coughs> Jack length, 23 metres. Funny old game into a tie break here. You've got uh, Darren and Stuart have won 12 ends of this game. Paul and Alex have won six. Wow. Mm. Shot scored at the moment, 17 to 11. I wonder what the percentage is of players or winning the second set than winning the tie break. I would think quite, it's quite, quite high. high. Quite yeah, high. I yep. would think it's quite high. Because the momentum thing, isn't it, and the, the disappointment of you you being in a tie break when you've won the first set, and you think, oh, we shouldn't be in a tie break, and the guys who have won the second set are delighted to be in a tie break. It's uh, it's quite. I think it'd be quite high. Well, Paul's allowed Stuart in with this one. Yeah, yeah, Taking advantage. Sure. Don't think it's the winner. Short, so it's still advantage red. Yeah, line's very good. Urging it on. Yeah, it's not quite making it. A bit of good stamp. Stuart really could have tied the end up there, couldn't he, with a front toucher? It made things very difficult for Alex. It's like not so easy, is it? It's Both hands are kind yeah. of blocked out in a way. I always wonder whether he'll play the backhand runner, you know, onto his own bowl. Maybe or Jack of the Ditch clean. Inside, the, yeah. yeah, he could get inside, could yeah. or play down the forehand. Dead pace, he'll probably get back just enough to get the shot. Yeah. Want to get wrecked, obviously, with his first bowl and yeah. leave it to the last one. Percentage shot just looks a backhand runner, doesn't it? The only problem is you, you're not, you may not get a tight shot. You might get shot, but it might not be a great shot. Yep. And of course, it's two balls against one then, isn't it? Yeah, if he gets the green ball solid, the red balls go in, and that's probably his best option. Unless he can get the jack clean. Having a good old, good old look at this. Yeah. And this is this is where the experience comes in as well, isn't it? You, you know, they they know they've got to probably change it with this bowl. You don't want to be leaving it to the last. And you know, you sometimes can play shots too quick. I'm I'm always guilty of playing shots too quick. I'm just a too quick a player. I need to sometimes rein back. Just slow down. Yeah, that's right. Give it a little bit more thought sometimes. Even if he gets rid of the front ball with his first, yeah. that would be a massive disaster, would it? No, Give himself wouldn't. at least a chance. That's right. And, yeah, he could even drive that into the head, can't he, and get yeah. lucky. It's all about, like I've said a few times, when, you, when you're playing an attacking ball, it's all about percentage, isn't it? There's quite yeah. a few different options, if you wish, down yeah. that backhand. You know, you've got the, the short, stun the ball out and stay in its place. You've yeah. got a bear jack with the right pace. Or yeah. well, like you say, you could force that ball through, through the head, yeah. if not, just clear it out of the way for your yeah. second yeah, ball. Yeah, exactly. And, and that 
in, at this level, at this time of the game, it's got to be the right shot, isn't it? You know, you could draw a perfect ball on the forehand, but how many goes would that take you to do? Yep. So he is just playing that pace. See, just allowing that ball to bend. Yeah. Very good here. Very good. He's got Jack Lee. There you go. Oh. Always a little a bit unlucky. Yeah, he didn't middle it, but he's got it out. You know, he'll probably take that. He'll probably take that. And that that was the perfect pace, wasn't it? Allowing yes. that chance for the yeah. ball to bend. Exactly. So if you didn't hit the plant, it was coming back. If you play the ball too quick, you never have that option of bending yeah, back right. to the jack. Yeah, exactly. He and was he, very unlucky he, there. He, he nearly middled it, didn't he? Yes, if he middled it, they'd gone with it. Yeah. Obviously, the downside is Darren's got two balls to his one now, but... Yeah. Yep, he'll want to make this count. Definitely with his first. Because the jack, the mat's right up. They can play this for him, can't they? To get to the corner. Yep, mm. that's a well-placed ball from Darren. Yeah, he's made sure of shot, which is the right thing to do. Alex has got a little bit of room. He's, he's wondering whether he can actually draw it on the forehand. I think he probably can with where the mat is. But Paul's giving him the option with the backhand underneath the front ball. You've just got to be clear in your mind, haven't you? You've got to make your mind up what yep. is the right shot. You don't want to be in two minds bowling this. He's just having a look. He's got to decide whether he thinks he can get a line that he can beat that red yeah. ball, you know, down the ditch side. Yeah. You can play cross rink, which is it's difficult at the best of times because you you've also here look that red ball must look pretty yeah. much in his eye line. Yeah, yeah that's right. He's, he's going to have to be pretty close to that red ball to, to bowl a really good bowl, isn't he? It's it's one of them. How close do you want to get? Yeah. Darren has got yeah, another bowl, yes. like you say, you know, if he, even if he attacks it, loses the bowl, just saying, you know, there's two and a half yards there to draw, isn't there, yeah. again? They don't, they don't look happy about it, do they? <laughs> but, you know, Alex is the man, if you, if you wanted to put your money on someone doing this, he's the man to do it. I mean, to me, it still, still looks doable on the forehand. You know, he's got to go pretty close to the edge of the, the boards, but... Hmm. With the map right up, it certainly gives you more chance than if it was back, doesn't it? No yeah. chance if it was, if it was back <laughs> on the tee. on the map, I'll send it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> The way he's looking, Paul's going to be stood behind him when Alex bowls this. <laughs> he's going to be watching it the same line as Alex. Well, this this just shows how much they trust each other. Oh, he's playing it with him stood down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, say, I thought he would. <laughs> he's going to stay there and watch, watch the line. Yeah, they trust each other's thoughts and things, you know. Yeah, you can see where Play. he's standing on the map. Look, yeah, he's, he's trying to get as, you know, as right far. Over. Look, yeah. Yeah. To give himself as much room as he can. This is... This is good. Well. Oh. It's going in the. Well. Wow. Second he's going Anderson in the advertising board, so Anderson it's going to be another one for Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett. Well, finally they've got them, the one back that they needed against them. It was a great game. Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett came out fighting in the first set. All guns blazing. 10 at 4. Paul and Alex came back as they always do. In the second set, got a great lead, 7-1, managed to force it over the line into a tie-break, but it's Stuart and Darren see this tie-break out and book themselves a place in the semi-final. Okay, so let's have a quick look then for the next game. Two o'clock is Les Gillett and Jason Greenslade. They take on Greg Harlow and Nick Brett in the last of the quarterfinals. And then sh uh, shortly following that game, around about half past three, the first of the semi-finals is our current champions, Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney, taking on America's Dean Warmington and England's Scott Edwards. And the 7.30 game, we'll see Darren Burnett and Stuart Anderson play the winners of the two o'clock game. Thanks for joining us this morning, Neil, in the commentary box. Much appreciated. Really enjoyed it. Thank you, mate. And we'll see you all back at 2 o'clock. Until then, it's goodbye from us. <laughs>